Marketing is like playing darts. So in a dartboard, those of you who've played darts, you know that if you're standing back there and you throw darts, you get a lot more points for the center than you do out here, right? It's the same in marketing. The smaller your advertising budget, the more precise you have to be who the target audience is. Nissan doesn't have a very good idea who their target audience is. So this is in 1998, the last time I was in this business. They were spending with our agency $100 million to attract 50,000 people to buy their cars. Now those of you that can do the math, what is it, $2,000 a car? Is that what it is? I think so, something like that, something outrageous. Imagine if you could spend in your little businesses, imagine if you, could, if you had to spend $2,000 for each person. It would, you'd be out of business, right? <laughs> now here's what you need to start thinking like. I've done this about 16 times now, and every time I get a little smarter about how your mind works and how I've got it figured out. Here's how you do this. Start by eliminating who's not your target audience. Who can tell me, you know, give me some answers now that you know how to eliminate some things. Who's the bullseye for the sale maker? Sailboat owners. Sailboat owners. Okay, I'm going to give that a score of about right here. Who thinks they can throw a dart closer to the center than sailboat owners? People who race. So we're going to put that, people who race sailboats, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to put that right here. What can get closer than that? The people in the center of the circle, your circle, you don't care about selling sales. In your circle, you start by asking, who uses this product frequently? Professionals. There's two things that you want. Somebody who uses it frequently and somebody who is willing to pay for something that's valuable. There is a category within the category called heavy users. Heavy users means people who use the product about five times more. Now in the beer category, this is true. And it's true for a lot of products. It's true for a lot of categories. I happen to know the beer category because I'm a sailor. But in the beer category, 20% of the people who drink beer consume 80% of the beer. So if you're selling beer, would you rather sell it to this guy who drinks one beer on New Year's Eve or this guy who drinks one you know, every 15 minutes on Saturday and goes through three six packs? Obviously, this one, right? <laughs> so frequency is important. 37% of you are saying, but why would I want to limit my target audience? Can you name anything, any product, any category, any brand that's everything to everybody? The only product, one of the only products I can think about that everyone really has to have is toilet paper. <laughs> Now, how many people have been to a supermarket in the last 22 days? Everyone. Have, has anyone ever studied, looked at where they have the toilet paper? There should only be one kind of toilet paper, right? Toilet paper, everybody wants it. It's the same thing. How many kinds of toilet paper are there? 37. I don't know that. I just made that number up. But there's lots. There's high ply, low ply, soft, scruffy, you know. There's, you know, two ply. <laughs> there's everything. There's scented, there's not scented. There's, you know, toilet paper for sailors, toilet paper. There's even, that's true, there's toilet paper for boats. Different toilet paper. Because it goes down the marine head. They want to have it decomposed easily. You don't want to have a clogged head. There's all kinds of toilet paper. So in order to compete, if you were going to start tomorrow, if you were stupid enough to go out and compete in the toilet paper business tomorrow, you couldn't just say, we want everyone who uses toilet paper, because there's no market for that. There's only markets for small pieces of this called segmentation. There's a market in the, in the food business. Why well, want to start a restaurant that appeals to everyone? What is that market? What is that restaurant that appeals to everyone? It's out of business. It's out of business. <laughs> Even McDonald's, which is the closest thing, doesn't appeal to everyone. The target audience for Apple Computer is real different than the audience for PCs, right? You've seen all the commercials. They have two people in the commercials. 
Who's the, who are the two people in the Apple commercial? IBM. Well, a PC, and they're not named. And describe the, the PC person. Is he a guy you'd want to go out and have a beer with? And you know, what is he? A geek. A geek. He's a nerd. He's a nerd. He's not cool. The, the Apple guy is what? Cool. That's what Apple's target audience is. How, how much more blatant can they be? Basically, Apple says, if you're cool, you should have an Apple. If you're not cool, we don't care about you. I mean, I worked with Nike. Nike, Phil Knight, the president of Nike, used to say, some people came into one of the shareholders meeting and they said, you're doing all these ads and you're showing all these athletes and you have a huge billboard out there with Michael Jordan. What if people don't know who Michael Jordan is? You know what he said? Then don't buy my product. I don't care. <laughs> They're not our target. So the most important thing you need to understand is who a clarity about who this target is. Nike now is a $9 billion company. It has all kinds of different products. It, it sells its products to a bunch of different people. So you can't look at Nike today <laughs> and then say, that's Nike as it's always been. Nike didn't start out this way. Nike started out with one focused, tiny product called track shoes. Track shoes, the target audience, the bullseye for Phil Knight when he started his company was people who ran track at track meets. And this was very helpful to him because he knew who his target audience was and he knew where he could find them. Where do you find people who run track? Track, track meets. <laughs> That's very helpful. That, if you know where your target audience is, you can go there.